some uh, spares trimmed up St. Louis style. And uh, we are going to actually be doing a couple of tests on um, uh, a couple of blends because I'm, uh, I like to mess around with flavors. So in order for me not to get bored, I've decided to uh, do um, a monthly small batch reserve blend. Um, just something that I'm playing around with, testing some things out. Um, I'll do an extremely small batch of them. When they're gone, they're gone, you know? See what, see what people think. So I have one that's um, I've already been working on. Um, that one is uh, codenamed uh, Project Trend Kill. Um, and then I have this other one that I'm gonna be trying out that I've been working on, because I know most of my rubs are way on the savory side. Um, I believe if you're gonna use any sweet, do it afterwards, you know, build that savory base, use it in your glaze, use it in your sauce, whatever. That's how I bring any type of sweetness to anything. So um, I don't like sugars in my rubs. Um, they burn. I don't like sweet meat. It's just not my thing. So I don't do it. But um, I am trying a certain thing out. And it's actually this guy right here. Um, you see, it's nice, beautiful color, this and that. Um, this one here is actually um, uh, Project Nutty Nectar. So it's a, um, I'll give it too many details. Um, it's a sweeter blend um, using um, uh, various nuts and um, things like that. So I'm going to give her a test run on some ribs and figure what a better place to do it. So, so anyway, let's get on with this. This is how I do my ribs. So. So of course, um, spares, baby backs, I typically don't uh, don't pull the membrane off. I actually just usually take a knife and I score in between my ribs. Um, spares, I like to take the membrane off. So it's a quick and easy way. I mean, I'm sure everybody has seen this a million times. Get through into the end here. Get your butter knife in there. Give her a little twist up so you got your little flap. Piece of paper towel. Give her a little tug. Usually start at a corner, that way she breaks loose. And uh, just come on back. So, sometimes, depending on how fresh your ribs are, this is real easy. Um, if your ribs are not that fresh, uh, it can be a complete nightmare, so. But, just do it like that. Try to keep the integrity all the way along. Give her a nice pull. Save you a little trimming afterwards. Take them right back, like so. And uh, got a little more trimming to do on these ones here. Let's get the membrane off of these guys. I usually just hatch it out, and then the very last one, I uh, twist it up. So. Start at a nice corner here. Wrestle it. There we go. We won. As you can see I lost a lost this little bit right here, so I'll take care of that afterwards. I'm actually gonna keep that towards the side because I may need that. And come on back. So on this guy right here. I'm gonna just try to see if I just can't recover it. Beautiful. All right, so then uh, I'd like to take my little knife and I really just put a score in there. If I see any of this heavy fat on the bottom, I usually just kind of pull some of it off. But either way, I always give her a little score. Make sure I don't got too much flat meat hanging. I just find the score really helps uh, break down that chew and that pull. And uh, allows for a little bit of um, a little bit of flavor to get in there. So we'll pull all that guy off right there, and let's give him a flip just to make sure before we start rubbing. So this over here, do a nice clean presentation. Pull this off. This stuff I usually use for um, when I'm making any uh, stocks or anything. So. It never goes to waste. But nice clean look on them. Same on this one. I got this one pretty good though. 
uh, this, this little stuff here. If I can pinch it and pull it, I don't want it. So. But otherwise, these look nice. These look nice. I'm gonna even these ones off down here. Like I said, I got this, uh, this ugly fat down here. I won't get rid of that. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna call that a day. Now, I'm gonna do one slab with uh, straight up pork therapy. I always start at the bottom, rib up, and then I flip them. So right here, we got just the uh, straight up pork therapy. And we're gonna make that this guy right here. Give a nice coat. Nice color. Don't usually get too ridiculous on the bottom because it just is what it is. Try to give her a little rub in. Try to massage it in between them bones a little. coat build that nice bark a lot of the stuff that I use in these rubs will break down and melt in so it won't look so substantial so if you think you're putting too much on put a little bit more on it'll be good I promise I don't like to play with them too much let that meat pull that in as it warms up now let's do this side. So now here is that uh, special reserve blend right here. Should be very nutty, nice and sweet. Man, it's got a beautiful color on it see the texture oh it smells good too just want to eat it got uh, various nuts that I've done some things with keep the jokes to yourself various grind sizes so I get a real nice texture I want to make sure they're prevalent. Believe me, you will know it's a sweet, nutty blend. There go get any excess underneath so that way it still gets in there. Oh, now let's hit the top with this beautiful. Look at that. only tried this minimally so I'm really excited to see how she turns out after a nice full cook nice low and slow on these boys I'm gonna try them a little dry first because I like to do that to make sure I know uh, I'm where I'm want where I want to be with my rub and then I'll probably maybe try a little glaze too like I said I'm not real big on the saucing so Make that meat tasty enough, you don't need to drown it in sauce, you know what I mean? So, that's how we're gonna do that right there. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I like the look of that, boys and girls. So, if you come in, you can check it out. You see the difference, we got our standard pork therapy. And then we got this uh, this new blend. 
that uh, nutty nectar. So we're going to um, we're gonna let these rest on the counter probably about half hour, 45 minutes. Um, let that meat warm up and just pull all that flavor in there. Then I'm gonna put them in the fridge um, until tomorrow and I'm gonna get them cooked up. So, but um, I'll be back on the cook video.